J drone here. What's going on, guys? Got another Snap Tang drone. Uh, it says Vision Beyond Imagination. My vision's pretty limitless, so Vision Beyond Imagination. That's pretty deep right there. Um, this is another X5 clone. It is matted. It's not high gloss. I like that. It does shine pretty nice in that sun, though. Uh, it is not a GPS drone. It's an altitude hold drone. It is a voice gesture drone. It is a hand gesture drone. Um, voice control, I guess you would say. I am not testing the voice. I am not testing the hand gesture. And spoiler alert. This is a voiceover. Um, the camera that I was using is uh, junk. The microphone did not work, so I got to record over this long video that we did with this drone here. Um, and it's a good thing I didn't test those other features. Uh, this drone is app enabled. We will connect to the app. The camera on it looks pretty good. Uh, and the antenna that is actually in the back looks really good as well. Um, if you were to use gesture control, as I was kind of drifting it left, that's the way it would happen. Take a look at the camera. Little, little orb type camera. Nice lens on it. And then if you see the antenna that is in the back here, the antenna is actually up and down the way it should be flicking out the proper signals versus being tucked up on the body and having the bottom of the antenna pointed at you um so that's definitely the way it should be i had thought prior to flight that the fpv footage was going to be really good and i'm pretty darn sure the fpv footage was really good um as far as the range was the fpv footage was great as far as uh as far as the wi-fi connection that was great as well uh, we are dealing with a 3.7 volt, I believe a 1500 milliamp an hour battery, which is a chunker. Uh, this drone got a long flight time. If you'll notice the time mark, this uh, video is long as flopple sticks. Um, yes, I said flopple sticks. What are flopple sticks? I have no clue, but it's better than dropping the F-bomb, right? We got kids watching. Um, also, another spoiler alert, this drone did not fly that entire time mark on the bottom here. You have your power button. Go ahead and turn that on. We get green lights in the back, red in the front. They kind of uh, missed a the mark there. It should have been reversed. Um, this drone also, I don't know what it's rated. I don't know. I don't know what it's rated for as far as range goes. I didn't read the instructions. What? J drone doesn't read instructions. Durr, durr, durr. There was a YouTube dude uh, crying about me not reading instructions. That's what I do. I don't read instructions for the simple fact. You guys are probably excited to get the drone out just as well as I'm excited to get the drone out. And this video will further prove why I don't read instructions. Because if I encounter something um because i didn't read the instructions and you don't plan on reading the instructions you can probably avoid encountering what i've encountered and i encountered a whole lot here um again i don't know what the advertised range is for this drone but i will tell you uh you better keep it within 50 meters 75 meters max of yourself and this video will show you exactly why this drone ended up in the next town again spoiler alert um and just to reiterate myself guys i am uh I'm doing a voiceover because the camera that I was using is complete junk. Uh, I'll show you a picture of that camera before we cut to the flight here. What I'm doing right now is connecting uh, connecting to the drone via Wi-Fi and then going into the Snaptain app and then getting into the FPV footage. Uh, the controller is very well lab labeled here. Again, J-Drone likes a very well labeled controller because I don't read instructions. Oh my gosh! He must not be a professional. Why isn't he reading the instructions? Again, I've already reiterated 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 through a lot of reiteration of why i don't do that again i'm excited to fly the drone as many of you guys may be so we don't read instructions we encounter problems that way you guys don't have to this is the camera that i was using guys i don't suggest buying it if you see it the microphone was on and we have no audio that's the reason we're doing this voiceover. We have takeoff. Um, I do have a little bit of wind that's drifting it backward in the first speed setting. It cannot handle the wind. In the second speed setting, it did okay where we were able to gain a little bit on it. Upper left is where your speed button is. Um, and then finally in the third speed setting, we were able to actually go against the mild wind again. It's a very mild wind. So this, this drone, you're going to need to fly on a no wind to uh, extremely, extremely mild wind day. As you can see, it kind of just tugging along 
along there. It's not moving very fast into the wind. Um, so generally, guys, we fly here. This is where we fly. I got a birch tree uh, just out to the right. That's 100 meters. I expect anything that I get in my hands to fly at least 100 meters. Again, I didn't read the instructions. Um, so therefore, I don't know what the advertised range is on this if it was advertised as 100 meters they should have advertised it as 50 meters um just to be safe i think it'll do 75 meters all day but anything over 75 meters you're gonna have trouble on keep your eye on a little birdie keep your eye on a little birdie it's dead center it's a little block black dot that is dead center um in the clouds it's now kind of just off to the left a little bit uh we have it out there i'm having issues bringing it back i did not lose my orientation i have my orientation it's being non-responsive to the controller um i'm trying to stretch out walk closer to it trying to get the range back um and it's not happening and i eventually as you can see my left stick i'm trying to sit it down i'm trying to just pull down the throttle and sit it down and it's not working it's not responding i'm getting close to it holding my arms up holding them out and nothing's happening so at this juncture um the drone is down the drone came down over, if you can see that pole sticking up uh, to the left of that tree line there. Um, the drone came down just over to the right of that. So now I get to go try to look for it. Um, I'm still debating what I'm doing on this voice over here. Whether I'm going to let the whole me searching and finding of this in. Or if I'm going to fast forward it. Again, this is a voiceover. We're trying to figure out what we're doing as we are doing it. Right now, I've just shut off the controller. Uh, generally, I'd say not to do that, um, but on an altitude hold drone, it probably has a fail safe, um, especially the newer ones where if it crashes, you're not going to be able to fire the motors anyway. Again, I just kind of pointed at the direction where it dropped and I saw it drop. I think what I'm going to do here, guys, I think I'm going to pipe in music. I think I'm going to stop jabber jawing. I'm going to pipe in some music and I'll leave it at the normal speed. I'll leave it at the normal speed. That way you can see how long it took me to find it. Um, I did find it. Uh, and again, I wish I had the audio because this entire time I'm thinking there's no way I'm going to find it. There's no way I'm going to find it. And then bam, I found it. I trudged through a, a little lake. Um, nah, I'd say a stream or a brook. I trudged through a little stream or a brook, which you'll see here shortly. Um, the constant me popping down to the cell phone. I'm looking for the signal. I'm looking for the Wi-Fi signal of the drone, and then I slowly keyed in on it. I slowly keyed in on it. It was going from one bar to two bars to one bar to two bars, and as I got to two bars, I decided to try to connect to it by the connection on the phone. That way, maybe I could see where it was and where it was. Had I gotten the FPV um, footage from it, I probably would have been able to determine where it was because it definitely went over that way and uh, I was pretty on point. I was pretty on point with my entry and then, uh, alright, I'm done. I'm going to pipe in some music. This isn't the first time this drone will get away from me. We will have it go over top of houses and we will have to go find it again. Um, this drone is great in the aspects of the camera which uh maybe we'll show you a shot of the camera before we start searching for this and then uh we will go ahead and just pipe in some music on the search for this and then get back to the review after that all right here's a little look at the camera so this is a look at a camera guys uh, you can see that we have a little bit of the bottom led lights off the arms in the view but on all this camera's pretty darn nice sure we have the shake and there's no gimbal involved on this there's no gps there's no electric image stabilization for a toy grade drone no sd card wi-fi only this camera's pretty nice and it's sad that the controller range is not that great as you can see we're next to houses we weren't next to houses when we were flying we will be next to houses this was uh towards the end of the video you can see the field that i'm flying in and I'm actually going to eventually get down low to show you what's on top of my head as far as the hat cam goes. Because we weren't using our tanker camera. I wish I was using the tanker camera. Because then I wouldn't have to do this long voiceover. Um, but we were just using another action camera that I had sitting around that I had charged. And uh, the microphone was turned on and I ain't got no sound. But we'll get close here. I did show you an image of it prior in the video. It is a white camera that says 4K. If you encounter it, you see it cheap, I would suggest staying away from it. Um, we should be able to get closer to ourselves here. 
We really should be able to. And bam, so there's a look at that 4K non-voice recording camera. Um, I did do a couple screen recordings. I don't know, maybe at the end, uh, or I'll integrate it with the next flyaway. Because uh, it is a flyaway. It flies away from me because the controller to drone connection gets lost. So uh, here comes the finding of the drone that we just lost.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed that music. Um, we found the drone. The drone is over here. Uh, it's kind of in the direction that I thought it was going to be in. Which was uh, basically I kind of seen it drop. And then I figured uh, figured linear path from where I seen it drop. It should have been. And I mean I was checking in that bamboo as you guys seen. And again hopefully you enjoyed that music while we were trolling through the um, bamboo. Stepping through the stream and whatnot. Uh, nothing looks to be damaged here. Nothing is damaged. Uh, the drone will fly again. Again, that's the direction that it came in. It probably had wind to his back, which kind of cleared over here. Fortunate, it probably clipped the tree, which allowed it to drop. We're going to fly it again. We're going to throw it back up. So by the power of YouTube, we are going to speed everything up here. That way, uh, we're not uh, in an exhaustingly long video, even though this video is pretty exhaustingly long. If you've made it to this point, why don't you go ahead in the comments and type in uh, Pink Dinosaur. That'll let me know who's watching. Type in Pink Dinosaur if you've made it to this point. Let me know you're a true trooper. So I kept looking over here. I heard something like hissing and whatnot. Um, unsure of what it was. Nothing jumped out and attacked me. But it kind of creeped me out. Especially just had getting out of the bamboo. Just out getting out of the the little the jungle per se. Um, Again, you can see me. I keep panning my head over that direction. But we're going to fly this again. We're going to fly it. And we are going to lose it again. Spoiler alert. <laughs> um, that's the beauty of being able to do uh, a voiceover. I could give you spoilers all day like I have been. Um, we're going to take it up. And I was trying to be very conservative. I was not trying to take this out far on a linear path like we did the first time, which was roughly about 100 meters. Um, I'm trying to keep this directly above me. Nothing too crazy. Just checking out the FPV, which again, the FPV quality is great. The Wi-Fi signal from the camera is great. It is sad that the controllability from the controller to the drone is not so great because that's what's going to happen. We're going to lose a connection from the controller to the drone again and this thing's gonna go take a hike well actually I'm gonna go take a hike this thing's going to take a fly further into the town that I do not live in here because again we started off in the town that I lived in we uh, we crashed over this way and bamzo you can see it drifting it's drifting it's going it's going um, I'm trying to trying to get it I can't get it, it kind of did a little orbit I thought I had it and it's going down so basically where it's going down guys is you see those two trees there you have a round tree and you have a little bit pointier uh, pine to the right of it basically went down in between those that's that that's my last visual point of view on it and again this thing and you can see left stick all the way down I was trying to bring it down even though I didn't have connection of it so it really wasn't doing anything um that's my last point of view of it did it drift further did the wind take it further did it fly further i'm hoping it hit a power line i'm hoping it hit something that way it came down shortly thereafter so this time i won't pipe in music we'll just jabber jaw throughout this because uh th this this was a little a little bit more interesting there's a little bit more to look at besides just leaves and whatnot the leaves and uh, and, and a little babbling brook was uh pretty pretty tied into some music a little, little chill walk through the jungle per se um this right here again what i'm doing is i'm looking at my cell phone seeing if i can get that wi-fi connection see if i can get the wi-fi connection back it's constantly up and down and looking around and again i'm kind of walking in a straight line um being cautious where i'm walking i'm definitely walking on somebody's property the grass is maintained here uh, I was just going to cut straight through where that round tree is, but there is a large dog in that cage there, and even though he's caged, I didn't want to upset him. Uh, I, I don't want neighbors coming out, what are you doing on my property, why are you messing with my dog, etc, etc, etc. So we're going to go ahead and take a walk around the block. This is two times now, guys. I tell it how it is. Snaptain's probably not going to be too happy with me after this video. But uh, the only edit on this video is uh, my audio. As far as what's coming from the hat cam is what came from the hat cam. And that's what happens. This drone has limited range. And again, it is so sad because they actually did something right with the camera. The camera itself and the antenna coming off the camera and the Wi-Fi signal coming off of the drone is strong. Why didn't we hook up a better controller to drone connection? Why didn't we get a better antenna on this? It blows my mind. 
Um, they, they've done the opposite of what most companies are doing. Most companies have an extremely strong control to drone connection um, and a very lackluster Wi-Fi to uh, cell phone FPV connection. And uh, they, they, they hit it out the park with, this, with, the, with the camera. They did. But uh, the, the, the controller to drone just ain't having it. So we're literally walking around a block. I'm, ta I'm taking a stroll. Like I initially said, the drone's going to take a stroll. No, the drone's not going to take a stroll. The drone took a flight. J drone's taking a stroll for the second time um, to go find us. And again, like, like in the jungle, prior to going in the jungle per se, uh, I didn't think I would find it this i'm really doubting my ability to find it because uh we're in a residential neighborhood the possibility of this actually landing in a tree the possibility of this landing on a roof um the possibility the possibilities are endless where this could be um this is an open plain this isn't just trees bushes and whatnot there there's all types of things that could happen here so I'm just walking up and I'm keeping an eye on my cell phone. I want my Wi-Fi to pop back up. Um, and again, it should have came across that way. It really should have came across that way because that's where those two trees were. So there's the one tree there. And we're just keeping an eye on our Wi-Fi. Keeping an eye on our Wi-Fi. And that's where I was going to come through, I believe, and shoot over there. And once I find the signal here, which the signal is going to pop up here. We, we walk away from it just a little bit and go from two bars to one bar. So I'm looking around, I'm looking around, I'm looking for the drone, seeing if I can see it. Again, it should have came down this way. Um, it really should have. And the fact that I have Wi-Fi again is showing me the drone's here somewhere. <laughs> Where is beyond me. Um, so we're going to continue walking up this way and we're going to lose our Wi-Fi. We're going to lose our Wi-Fi. So we're going to take a little step back and see what we get. This is kind of like uh, our RSSI for like a FPV drone, um, but for a Wi-Fi drone. Without, without my cell phone and the drone outputting that Wi-Fi, and again, it's strong Wi-Fi, uh, there's no way that I would have been able to find this. So we're just going in here and I'm trying to connect to it. I'm trying to connect to it, see if I can see the FPV, but it won't, it won't give me the FPV image. Unfortunately, I think you have to have three bars for it to actually do that. Two bars, one bar won't allow you to do that. But this video will show you the capabilities of you finding this drone. This is twice now. And again, guys, I know the trolls are out there. I know they're out there. I know they're sleeking and slurking. Um, I know they're watching. They're, they're, dude, if you have a troll, be humbled. They're your biggest fans. Even though they might not like what you're doing, they're watching you. I promise you they're watching you. I know they're watching me. Um, the, the, the trolls are, are, are going to say, you should have read the directions. Well, if I should have read the directions and I did read the directions, we wouldn't have this video. We wouldn't have how to find a drone by Wi-Fi signal. We wouldn't have an estimate on, on range here because I wouldn't have pushed the limits if I read the instructions and I seen that it was limited on range. Um, that's why I do what I do. Uh, I don't expect other people to understand why I do what I do, but I try to tell you why I do what I do, and hopefully you can understand that. Again, I, I, I'm i thinking it's down there. I'm thinking it's down there, so I'm going to lightly, uh, lightly go tiptoe on somebody else's property. I live in a fairly good neighborhood that if somebody were to come out, what are you doing on my property? I'd apologize. I'd be extremely apologetic and say, uh, my drone's back here somewhere. I got the Wi-Fi signal. Um, I do apologize. Hopefully they wouldn't be a D about it and allow me to keep searching because as you'll see my uh, search techniques work. They've worked twice now. Um, a little bit of luck, but a little bit of technique on this Wi-Fi here. And again, other drones of this nature, other drones of the X5 class that have well, Wi-Fi cameras, I guarantee the signal's not as strong. Um, and again, I, I've said it a couple times now, it's sad that the radio control signal to the drone is limited because they did something right with this. Dude, they don't even have an SD card on it. They don't have an SD card on it, and they don't need an SD card on this camera. Um, it, it would be nice. You'd get better picture, but they don't need it for the simple fact that 
the Wi-Fi that it's emitting is so strong. Um, again, I'm trying to connect to it. I'm really close to the drone right now. I didn't know it in the video, um, but I'm really close to the drone right now, and it won't let me connect to the Wi-Fi signal. So we're gonna keep uh, we're gonna keep playing Ghostbusters. Remember Ghostbusters, where they'd hold up that little device and wave it around and get close to the ghost and whatnot. Um, that's what we're doing here, and we're we're going. I try also to bind it here. And then to fire some motors, see if I could hear it. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to hear it. Unfortunately, motors wouldn't fire. So we have to continue to seek and destroy. We're not destroying anything. We're seeking and finding. Playing hide and seek with my drone. Playing hide and seek by myself. Me and my drone playing hide and go seek. Um, it's not a fun game. It's, uh, it's a little bit stressful. <laughs> it's very time consuming, as you can see the length of this video here. And uh, the fact that I've not sped any of this up, you can see exactly how long that it took me to find it from the initial flyaway. And that's what a flyaway is. Um, flyaway is basically getting out of range and the drone continuing to fly away as opposed to having a failsafe. So right now, I have two bars. Um, so I'm thinking maybe it's over there. Maybe it's over there. Um, instead of it having a failsafe when it loses connection with the controller that it just drops, it literally flies away. And that's what it did. I have two bars. It didn't just plaster itself in that shed. I'm thinking it's over here. I'm thinking maybe we just got to tiptoe over here. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's in a tree or something. I get over here and I'm down to one bar now. So we've gone the wrong direction. We've gone the wrong direction. I got one bar over here. Turn it this way. I get one bar this way. And then this way, I got two bars. So it has to be this way right uh again this is a long video i apologize um if you made it this far write down in the comments red ox let me know who's actually watching these videos if you made it this far again you are a trooper among troopers and I, we're just going we're, we're going to try to figure out where this drone is off of Wi-Fi connection. It, it's it's pretty simple to zero in on a connection. I've done this with RSSI. Um, this is actually the first time that I've done this with Wi-Fi. Uh, I don't think I've ever done this with Wi-Fi before. Maybe once, maybe with the Bebop. The Bebop 2, I think I keyed in on it with, with uh, Wi-Fi before. Walking over here, walking over here. And again, the wind's blowing in this direction. and nothing yet don't see nothing we're gonna find it in a minute here see what i see anybody see it anybody see it for the second time again luck's on my side a little bit luck's on my side a little bit but uh technique a little bit of technique here a little bit of a little bit of ghostbusters running a little bit of ghost run busters running trying to find the drone so essentially with this drone being up here, um, where it is, we kind of walked past it on the road. And that's why w when we were up the street, we were getting one. We came back down the street, we got two because we were considerably closer to it. So uh, right now we are going to fly the drone again. I am going to go ahead and speed that up until we get to the next field. That way you don't got to listen to my voice for another, I don't know how long, but uh, this works. It works really well. The drone's on scave, two crashes, durability test definitely passed. Um, but let's go ahead and speed this up until we get to the next field. Essentially, what we're going to do is we are going to reset everything and we're going to just take it down the street and walk it like a dog, walk it like a dog in front of me and kill the battery. The battery lasted a really long period of time and then get it into the next field and then we will uh, continue with me jabber jawing. And here we go, guys. So the, the video is almost done. I promise you the video is almost done. If you've watched this entire video, you are a champion amongst champions. Right now, what we're doing is a lateral run. Instead of a high up lateral run where it could take off and whatnot, we're doing a lateral run to that bush. The bush that's directly in front of us, the rounded bush that is just off to the right of the pole sticking up in the air. And again, what we've got here is lag. Where I'm kind of walking towards it to get a... Uh, get, 
get the signal back. Um, we have lag all the way out there and stoppage is horrible. That was horrible stoppage. I tried to stop it out myself, but again, I guess uh, the wind that was pushing on it and also the drone itself, the brakes aren't great. So what we did, as I was trying to explain, as I rudely interrupted myself, thanks, J Drone. Thanks for interrupting me. No problem. Learn how to talk and enunciate things. <laughs> you try to talk through a video. All right, I'm done arguing with myself. That was fun. Um, it's a lateral run close to the ground, and it does. What you have is under 100 meters. You have under 100 meters with this drone. If you go any further, you are going to get glitchy and laggy, and if you are above, I'm going to say 12 to 14 feet, you're chancing a flyaway. That's why I did this as close to the ground as possible to test this. Uh, this field that I'm in is prime time for this drone. Any bigger than this field that I'm in, you are probably chancing on losing your drone. We will go over to the back side of this field. We will uh, put this up in the air again riskfully because I wanted to go ahead and chase it again. No, I'm lying, but uh, I, I like to push the limits a little bit. like to push the limits a little bit. Um, this is definitely the record on Jabberjong on the J-Drone video show. I think so anyway because uh, we've Jabberjawed a lot in a long time um throughout the course of this video so what 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 do we know about this drone it looks cool the camera's good the wi-fi is good the controller to drone not so good uh flying in wind not so good um battery life is pretty darn good durability is good so if you have this drone maybe you want to maybe you want to modify the antenna um that'll probably void your warranty and the company has pretty good warranty on this if they, you do get a flyaway you could probably contact the company tell them that you had a flyaway they'll probably replace it and again that tree right there is what i was pressing at um all the way over there is where we started like all the way over past those other trees in the background is where we had started from all in all, I'm not stamping this drone. This does not get the J drone stamp of approval. I'm not. I'm not. I'll leave a link down below if uh, if you if you have a small backyard. If you are definitely going to do a backyard fly on this. If you're just going to chill fly this. If you're not going to push the limits with it, the link is down below. Um, but as far as myself, I'm not stamping it. Snaptain might be not too happy with me for not stamping it, but it is what it is. I tell it how it is. And again, the only edit on this is the audio recording and again we're fighting to get it back i went to the end over there where where we started on this field where the road was and it started getting glitchy so uh again this is just me reiterating over and over again this bam it fell out of the sky now that's something interesting right i still have battery there is no fail safe. I will try to fail safe it out of the sky. I will try to do an emergency landing by pushing down and out, holding down on the left stick, pushing down and in. I don't know why I did that. I have no clue why it fell out of the skies. The motors did shut off and then did that little barrel roll. We will get this back up in the air again, and we will put it up in the air again. Um, right now, basically, I can't remember what the calibration is. There is a stick calibration on it. I think it's ends. I think if you push it ends, there's a stick gyro calibration, which you should do after you crash. That way your gyroscope is level. Um, we're going to go ahead and fly this for the last time, guys. And then we are going to end this Jabberjaw Fest. Um, dude, there's a huge thing in Indiana going on. I, I bet most of you guys knew, knew about it. I didn't know about it. Um, it's like the largest FPV meet ever um, worldwide. Worldwide. Like some of my contacts from China are going to be there. I wish I would have known about it, man. I'll make it next year. Um, because I would have. I would have went for the entire time. I don't care what it would have cost. We would have pulled some money out of the bank. And we would have chilled in Indiana. And did, uh, I think it's like a four or five day event or something. Um, so I'm a li little bit salty that I didn't get to make it to that. Um, that I just found out about it a couple days ago. Guys, if you've made it this far... Type in green turtles eat eggs. I don't think anybody is going to type green turtles eat eggs down below. Type green turtles eat eggs if you've made it this far. Um, again, I don't see that comment being down below at all. So you're probably going to miss the rest of what I'm saying. Or what I've said prior for the prior half, uh, half hour. Uh, we got some things coming to the channel. I got some new drones. I got a drone that's being test flown today that should be shipped hopefully tomorrow that will be a first for this and any channel. 
it will be a first it is a custom build uh, i'm super stoked about it but uh i'm going to uh i'm going to continue flying this we're going to continue flying this here and uh we're going to fly it until it drops we're also going to take another walk with it but uh i'm done i'm done jabber jong the rest of this video we are going to uh pipe in music uh we're going to use the same music that we used before again don't get that camera the camera that i showed you in the beginning don't get the camera the camera uh made this for an extremely long edit it saved videos in half an hour format so i had to sew all this video together as well not fun guys i'm jay drone if you haven't subscribed smash the subscribe button questions comments concerns down below and don't read your instructions you'll make trolls unhappy and that's the way trolls like to be is unhappy uh, you don't want to read those instructions and know everything and pretend to be a know-it-all because then the trolls will be happy. Enjoy the music.